Maker moment! Make a space gauntlet. The things you need to make your space gauntlet are some cardboard, something to write with, a lot of popsicle sticks or tongue depressors, string, straws, scissors, something to cut cardboard with, and a lot of hot glue. Now, first step is to take your flat piece of cardboard and trace your hand on it. Your gauntlet is going to fit your hand, so you, that's why you're using your own hand as the model for this. As you cut out your hand, make sure that you have your fingers separated because each finger on your space gauntlet is going to move individually, so that's very important. And as you trim it up and kind of get it looking a little bit nicer, you may need to remove a little bit of extra cardboard from between each finger just because that's going to allow each one to move a little better and keep them from bumping into each other, just like your regular fingers. Okay, now, just like your regular fingers, again, your space gauntlet fingers need to have joints on them. And so you want to use a straight edge or something like that to make two bends on each finger, making each one flexible. Now, you also want to take your straws and sort of measure them out to match the length of the flat parts between the two bottom joints and hot glue those on there. Go ahead and do that for every single finger and you want to leave the very end of the finger uh, without a straw right now. And go ahead and add a few extra pieces of straw to help guide the string that will run through it here in a few minutes down towards the base of the gauntlet. You'll see why here soon. It's going to be a really cool movement mechanism. Okay, now, everything's all glued up. Let's let that cool, and while we do, we need to make our support piece so that we can actually wear the gauntlet. And just like the gauntlet itself, you can use your own hand as a pattern. And so you need to cut a rectangle and then cut a few little flappies on the side for the width of your specific hand. You're going to see why in just a second. So we're going to attach one side permanently and the other side with a rubber band, and that's going to help make this gauntlet easier to take on and off. So we're going to glue that handle part down, and then kind of place it pretty good. You can make some little marks and stuff like that. And you can cut little notches to glue these onto, and that's going to help make this a stronger joint, because this is an important piece, so you want to make sure it's nice and strong. And so you hot glue it in there real good, and then let that set up a little bit, now you got to figure out how you're going to add the rubber band attachment there. So in our case, we're going to use a popsicle stick right here, hot glue that on the bottom side, and then fold these flaps in, and then we can easily wrap a rubber band around that, and it'll help hold this gauntlet on our hands. See? Now, you will need to cut four pieces of string to make the fingers move. And before you start running the string through, you need to find something to tie on the end of the string to make it a stronger joint. Um, we are using pieces of popsicle stick, but you could also use pieces of cardboard or something like that. So you tie that on to each one, and you add a little bit of hot glue just to strengthen that joint because you don't want this to come undone. Each one of these strings is going to control a single finger, and you don't want to lose control of any of your fingers. You've got them all glued up. Now, run the other end of the string through all of the straws all the way down to the hand brace we just made. And when you do this, make sure you glue that end piece up on the very tip of that finger and use a pin or something like that to hold the end of that end of the hot glue. That's a pro tip for not getting your hands burned. All right, now, fun part, we're almost done. You have to do a little test fit like that and tie a loop on the end of each string so that you can hook your finger onto it. See? Huh? Huh? So do that with every single finger. That way you can make sure the movement is as good as possible. And each one is going to be a little bit different length because your fingers are different lengths. On the back side of your gauntlet you're going to want to do some reinforcement because the cardboard might not be as stiff as you want and it might bend a little bit while you're using your gauntlet. So feel free to reinforce as much as you like. You can do it with popsicle sticks like we're doing here or if you have some very thick cardboard, that might be a better way to go. You could use thick cardboard for the arm part, or you could just layer more cardboard on top. Now we're almost done. Well, one last thing we need to do is make the thumb in sort of like a permanent position, because we can't control the thumb super easily like this, and we want to make sure that we're able to pick stuff up. So we need to reinforce it 
and have the thumb pointing up at about 90 degrees. In our case, of course, we're using more popsicle sticks and hot glue. Put your fingers in the end of each loop and boom, boom, boom. You can pick all kinds of stuff up. Maybe you can pick it up and throw it. Whoa! There you go. Space Gauntlet.